for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. In the recent past, we've got the Knight of Swords and the Star card. So with this Knight of Swords, it actually brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. It can often mean that someone or something desirable was seeking you out. Now the Knight of Swords, it also points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you were waiting on news from someone or something, you probably liked what you heard. The Knight of Swords is about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, and getting things accomplished. So it was unlikely that you felt like waiting for anything to come for you or waiting for anything to come toward you. And this would have been a good thing. You went after your heart's desire. Now, it's paired with the star card. No, so when it comes to the star card, you could have found yourself feeling really inspired and you probably felt more hopeful about the future than you had in a while. Now, with the star card, you probably felt more confident that your needs were being met, whether, whether it was emotional or financial or it could have been both. They were met at that time. Just know that nothing could have been taken for granted, but it was unlikely that your confidence was misplaced. And this is also a spiritual card, so you could have found yourself feeling, at least for a time, at one with all of creation. And um, I think I just mentioned it's not a common feeling, so you should have tried to savor it. So basically, for the recent past, the Star card and the Knight of Swords is pretty much saying that you could have been involved with someone who was um, always excited to come towards you because this Knight of Swords is about planning, taking action, being really impulsive, fast-talking person. And um, this person, the um, Knight of Swords, they like to sweep you off your feet. So you could have had a lot of fun with someone. Someone was really interested in you, and um, there was probably a lot of communication, and it made you feel like a star. Any grief of the past was released when you get the star card. So uh, this person made you feel really hopeful, really hopeful about the future, and, you, and it made you feel real confident very confident so you were in a good connection with someone in the recent past and this person was very excited to come towards you for the most part so keep in mind the roles can be switched if this isn't you then it could be your person or it just or it could be vice versa so that's the recent past. Let's see what happens, what's going to happen, what's coming up for the present time. We got the High Priestess and the Three of Cups. Now the High Priestess, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with, um, well, it could, um, the High Priestess, it could be a magical, mystical time for you. You could find yourself... Um, well, you can find that a lot of people could be throwing themselves at you as the High Priestess. It, this card has some sexual overtones. It could mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, the femininity, to inspiration. It's actually a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's also important to pay attention to your dreams coming up in August. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it would be a really good idea. The star card is with the Three of Cups. Now this card is considered to be a card about reunions, but this is not, um, put it this way, it could be a romantic reunion. Now in the broadest sense, it's about running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. Now this is a very, very happy reunion. As you can see in the picture, these three people, they're jumping up in the 
in the air and they're toasting their wine and their champagne. It's a very, very happy come together. Like I said, it's considered to be a happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can also mean celebrating your own or someone that you care about. Some type of celebration. It could be a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. So, Jim and I, for the present time, High Priestess, Three of Cups, it looks like uh, someone from, someone that you knew maybe a long time ago or someone that you haven't seen in a long time ago, it could be a come together. Now, this card usually means, um, it could mean that a long lost love could be returning. Or if you're single, Gemini, and you get this Three of Cups, the most likely interpretation is that you will meet a likely love soon, a very likely love. This person will be someone who really fits the bill of the person that you've always been looking for. And this person, um, there'll probably be a new love. That's if you're single. But um, for the most part, this card is about someone returning. And because it's with the High Priestess, this person, uh, they'll probably come across as being more true and loyal. Because the High Priestess is, uh, is a spiritual card. And there'll be a lot of attraction here. Because the High Priestess is about attraction. Deep attraction. Uh, the High Priestess is about sitting pretty. This person could be the quiet type, or they could come across as that way, as mysterious. But um, this is a good reunion because it's very happy, and it looks like there'll be a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction here. So that's for the present time. So let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Magician and the Two of Wands. Now, the Magician card, it's pretty interesting. It's a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card, it reminds us that you have the power to make a difference in a whole lot of ways, in your life and, in, and even in the world, if you try. Just know you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. So the Magician is all about action. And if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. So if you don't know what to do, make sure you do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. Magician, manifestation powers. That's the best word to describe this card. Now, it's with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about trying to keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership with another another person. It could be business or personal or it could be both. Now, because it's with the Magician card, it looks like the challenge could be that you could uh, have a couple of options going on for you coming up in, in uh, August. Um, with the Two of Wands, it's about maybe two paths towards a future. So you're trying to decide this card is about trying to make a decision because you have looks like two options there. You see how he's he's got two wands and he's looking more towards the right and he's not really paying attention to the option towards the to the to the to the left. Now it looks like um, the person that that's returning or this happy celebration. This person looks like they, it looks like because it's with the magician card, they manifested this connection. But it can be a challenge for you because you could have already have something else going on, and now you have to make a decision. So two options towards a future here. So that's going to be challenging for you, Gemini. But it won't be for your person because it looks like with the magician card. Somebody's manifesting a connection with you. So 
let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. Now, this Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times, bad times, it passes. passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective, because like everything else, it changes. So live in the now. Count your blessings and just realize that much of the life is really outside of our control, but that's okay. Even that's okay, you have to roll with the changes. Well, the fortune is with the Page of Cups. It shows a need to play, dream, and have a little fun. So when this card appears, something... Well, when it appears, it could mean that you're taking yourself too seriously. Because there's a poet that once said, the one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So it looks like for the outcome, fortune is in your favor with the will of fortune. So because you've got two choices, two options or two paths towards a future and you got somebody that really wants to be with you could be someone returning from the past someone you haven't seen in a long time um it is not a love interest it could be a, a family member or a friend but the three of cups is about some type of it's really about some type of very happy return could be a long lost love this person is going to come across as well this person is going to want to be um probably more loyal like the high priestess in. There's going to be a lot of attraction. And because the will of fortune is here. Fortune is in your favor. This person has manifested a connection with you. And it looks like. Uh, it, this this could have a couple of storylines. You two could have a, a great time. Have a lot of fun here. That's what the page of cups is showing. Or you could choose to. Um, you could choose to open your heart to intimacy. That's what the Page of Cups also means. Okay? Um, or you could, um, you could decide to just not take things so seriously and just have fun. And it could be with this person or s someone else. Okay, but the Page of Cups is about just having fun. So... Like I said, it could be a couple of different storylines here. It's with the Wheel of Fortune, which the uh, Wheel of Fortune, Fortune is in your favor. So you might just decide to just hang loose and just have fun and not take things too seriously. So, the, uh, Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you.